Hello, this is Lady and welcome to another educational video. The less organized you are, the more time you're gonna spend doing paperwork. Today, I will share with you how I organize my paperwork. And the benefits I get with this is I have more time for my family, I'm less stressed, and it's easy for me to find a document. So let me show you how I did. As a business owner, organization is one of the biggest things that I had to learn. I'm not an organized person. After working for 12 hours, the only thing I wanted to go is watch TV. I don't know if you can relate to me. I didn't want to see paperwork. But something that somebody told me in one of the trainings that I took, he said, if you at least spend one hour of your time doing paperwork, it will really help you. You will know exactly where your money is going. What is the point that you are spending 12 hours of work when you don't know exactly where your money is going? Spend one hour of your time by doing paperwork. I have different ways and today I'm gonna share one of them. So stay with me. I already show you what you shouldn't do, which is putting everything in one box. It's so stressful. Let me show you different ways. So I keep all my forms for my business here. Same thing, I have documentation for each of my employees. If you put them in binders, there will be more organization. I will show you here example always have them by names like in my case i have them by families all my contracts just one example and the most important thing where i get overwhelmed is with my receipts i keep them in envelopes like this so this one is called december and I have one for each month. So in total, I have 12 here. Any kind of expenses, I always put it here. So the kind of like invoices that I pay or I bought. And then I always put a small envelope for the small little receipts. So I always keep it this way. And here is only if it's a really important document it goes in my red folder next year i will be switching the color so this one is from 2019 i'm done i'm doing my taxes at this moment so that's why they are still here but at the end of this month everything should be gone here i also have a lot of insert dividers i won't show you what i have here because it's mainly like more plastic. So this one is gonna be for 2021. Last year was green, this year is gonna be blue. And then I have a lot of insert dividers here and more stuff like that. I went to the Dollar Tree and I got four packs of this plastic envelope. So what you want to do is you want to have 12, one for each month. And every year I have a new color. When you buy this kind of plastic envelopes, which is gonna help you to organize your receipts or any kind of expenses, this is how they look. And it comes three pieces, so three of this. And now the next thing that I will do is I will label them. I have my labels from January and I have all the way to December. Now they are already cut it, so the next thing I will do is I will just put a piece of tape here. So now all my envelopes are ready for me to keep all my receipts together. So I have one for January, February, March, and April. So this is going to be the new look for 2021. So I already have my envelope called January. And now the only thing I have to do is this January, I will put the whole thing here. Right now, because of the grant, they are asking us to have more organization. It's really important. They want more documents for us to prove that we had a loss in your business. August was one of the months where I had the most documents and it's a little bit heavy. I had like about 40 different pages. And what I did, I did a division. So here, 
I have a different envelope inside of the big envelope and what I do here I have all my receipts the receipt that I bought, the fuel insurance receipt that proved that I bought paper towels, hand sanitizer, so I have everything here and I don't lose it and I just put the whole receipt here it's close and this was for the month of August so now let me show you how I also organize my office this is a paperwork that I have to go over for example my first one I have my school this is all here is all my syllabus any document I have um, that I wanted to print for my school is here when I get new contracts I always put it here because I need to review them I want to make sure that before I put them here it's complete and it's approved then when when I need to laminate so I always put it here more stuff for work for example right now I'm working in the month of February so I have all my paperwork here all the worksheet I will be using and then last thing I have my YouTube scripts here that I will be going over so I can make another video when I get a new contract the best way is I always use uh, folders like this and if these are approved which means I have the child has all the requirements that I requested now they're gonna go here and let me show you how this looks so this one is mainly for the employees and this is for my students and what I have here is I have the blue means observations. Any paperwork that I have for my students, I have it here. The yellow one means that they are contracts. So this is where I keep all my contracts. And then this is where I keep all the paperwork for the employees. So this is another way. I got this cabinet from Ikea long time ago. And it's very useful. The most important today is about how to organize your paperwork. There are many kinds of paperwork, like in case if you are a teacher, you have observations, you have pictures, you have receipts of your expenses, you have so much stuff. So I hope this idea helps you to have more organization. As a business owner, we need to find many ways that is going to work for you. And I hope this way is a good way. If you guys have a different system, please comment on the bottom and let me know what system do you do. Hasta pronto. See you soon.